Well, welcome to Lyme Regis Fossils. I will show you some really fun, interesting antiquities from the old Victorian bottle dump at the end of this video that I found on the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide. Well, here's a really nice sight to see. This is church cliffs. And you can see down there in the distance, there's no one underneath the dangerous cliffs. They're liable to fall suddenly and without warning. Well, here's the area where the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide came down onto the beach, bringing all sorts of curiosities like this. I'm always looking for sea glass here along this particular stretch of the coastline. A warning to everyone, beware of the quicksand-like areas on those mudslides. And those mudslides do come down out to sea at times. There's a pillbox, a military pillbox area. The base of it has come down onto the shoreline. And look at that metal rubbish there on the beach. Certainly a good patch to sieve in. I'm just looking down here in this pocket you can see. Quite a few bellum lights there. Can you spot the bellum lights? I've got a plastic model here in my hand of what the bellum lights used to look like. And you can see those small bellum lights I've got there fossilized in calcite. They would have been swimming around in the Jurassic seas many moons ago. You can just see there a shell there as well, just by the rock. It seems to be wedged into that rock. Would have been nice if that was a gastropod fossil. They're more gray, the gastropod fossils in color. Well, can you spot the fossilized wood there? Just up ahead of me, you can see quite a big chunk of the monkey puzzle tree, fossilized wood there. I'll just wet it. Well, people keep asking me what is the right rock to look for. There's some of the layered rock, splits like slate, sharp sounding when you tap at it. And if you have a look there, there is a little uh, worn down ammonite. There is a little worn down ammonite and a shell creature nestling against it. So I'll put that back in its place. Here's another piece of fossilized wood, monkey puzzle tree. Looks a bit jet black, like the Whitby wood. Well, I better watch out with him, with my sandwiches. And as you can see, I've got my leggings and coat. The weather really has been very inclement, so I've got my waterproofs today with me. And it looks pretty black and bleak, the sky. It's 
scraping through the iron pyrite in these patches where iron pyrite and metal all gets concentrated is a good idea for these little perfect pyrite ammonites come out come out wherever you are thought that might have been something then but uh i'll keep on going through it and see what happens see if i can scrabble out any little fossil ammonites that are washed into nooks and crannies here on the beach blob of pyrite big lump of beef rock watch out for this sort of metal very sharp in places Looks a bit black, the sky. A little uh, point there of a Bellamnite, the guard of the sea creature I showed you earlier. You can hear the cliffs there running with water. And here's some of the metal rubbish that's coming down onto the shoreline from the old Victorian bottle dump and washing out of the mudslides onto the beach. And here is my plastic shovel, which I'm taking back, of course. But you can see here, part of a melted bottle there, blue glass, cobalt blue glass, melted at over a thousand degrees C when the Victorian bottle dump caught fire. And the bituminous shale layer up there, an oil rich layer caught fire because iron pyrite oxidizes during the summer months, heats up the oil rich layer, catches it on fire. They called it the lime volcano back in 1907 and the tourism was really good when the fishing boats were bringing out people to see this area of cliffs belching smoke. Well, it's my last chance saloon here, sieving on the beach, quite a prime looking sieve full there with all that pyrite in and I'm sieving for Susie and Trudy today on the beach so let's see what happens with this sieve full. Here comes the tide on its way back in. So I'm heading home back into Lyme Regis and I will show you a few really interesting finds a bit later on from the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide. And you can find all sorts of curiosities along that particular stretch of the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide when you get out there along the Jurassic coast at low tide to look for fossils. And like I say, stay away from the dangerous cliffs they are liable to fall suddenly and without warning. And look at all that notice board there. Those are proper notices for you to heed. And here's the Mary Anning statue. Her birthday is coming up very soon. Here's some lovely beach glass that I found from the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide. I'm really proud of those lovely colors. Well, this from the 2008 Lime Regis landslide looks like some kind of Japanese inkwell, and uh, that's very ornate. It's been eroded by the sea somewhat. And here also too, an old clay boot. That looks homemade. And there are the perfect pyrite ammonites in the background too that you find out there. If you enjoyed this, please give it the thumbs up and leave us some of your comments in the comment section.